Hello there and welcome back to a, another episode in our uh, season 5 series. Okay, so in this episode what we are going to do, we do need some metal and I think it's long overdue. I mean, we do have our reasons. We had a few moments of crisis that we were solving before, but in this one, yeah, metal is the main priority. So uh, I'm thinking I had a look around the map and right now, based on everything we have access to, I think I do want to build our metal production right over here. So to do that, we shall try and clean up this whole area as much as we can. Okay, so there we go. Those trees are now marked. Same with these. We have to be a little careful because I don't want to accidentally remove any of the, of the ruins over here. We do want to preserve the look that we already have. Okay, so there we go. Now to explain why we are taking those trees out. So instead of doing like a neat side-by-side -side setup that we have done like a million times already, I actually do want to use this space that we have available to us and squeeze in quite a few metal uh, smelters. Okay, for example, we can do one over here, one next to this one, and some of them will be passing power through as well. Wait a second. Someone is stranded. Uh, oh, I see. Why were you there? Uh, okay, let's prioritize those ladders and hopefully we can rescue the four boar beavers. Okay, right, so that's the, that's the idea. What we do probably have to check is how much of this area can we clean up. Okay, well, most of it seems fine. I suppose we could, yeah, once we take those trees down, we can probably, let's pick this road real quick and bring you through yep we have the range for a few more now uh, we may just have to climb up from this side as well which is fine all right let's um i actually do want to change the roads in yeah on the ground over here so let's see what is something else that we have metal yep let's do metal roads instead not gonna change everything over just now um but we'll do it later but okay, yeah, that's the that's the plan. Speed up the time a little bit as well. Let's have a look how far... Okay, one of those ladders is done and the other one will be getting resources shortly. Do we have enough builders? Oh no, these ones are empty. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, we still have a few. So we can construct a couple of things. After that, once we have placed down the metal refineries we are gonna need a bit of power as well yeah 200 hamster power per smelter so that means four hamster wheels which is yeah it's not gonna be great now what i'm also thinking to do so there's two other options we we do have during rainy season why don't we have like a few wheels water wheels that we could use Okay, for example, if we grab the big one, you don't really fit in here. But we can do two of the smaller ones. Okay, you just need 25 logs and that's it. Not sure how strong is the current over here, but I think, yeah, we can definitely get a few extra horsepower from there. And then uh, once we do reach this area as well, I do want to change the access. We want to cross over from, from the mountain directly over here. Uh, we could probably... If we grab those wheels again, we could do one hmm, maybe on this hill and one on the on the other side. But we do have to, of course, get rid of uh, all of those trees in here. Okay, so that's the plan and the goals for this episode. Well, this one maybe not, but definitely metal over here and try and improve our power situation as well. I mean, the timing isn't the best because the drought is literally about to start. But that's all right. Once we get the next rainy season, we should have a slightly better infrastructure over here. Okay, so you are only 54. Well, that's already one wheel. And if the other one is 54 as well, then uh, let's have a look. You're almost done. Hopefully you, you will get done before the drought ends. Let's have a look. All right, a little bit less, a bit higher on here, but that's fair. At least, yeah, it covers, you know, one wheel. And that's one uh, one less beaver to run those wheels. Now, 
Our population seems to be going lower again. I think it's time we open a, another port. Secondly, we do want to fix up this axis in here as well. And I've just noticed they have finally taken away... Yeah, one of you. Okay, so what I would like to use here instead is... Let's grab those decoration stairs. And yeah, that looks lovely. Alright, and we'll fix you up with the road. And probably same in here, isn't it? And there we go. So this means we can connect the last link up. I mean, we're not really visiting this area anyways, and we can pause you. Actually, yeah, that's how we can get a couple of spare beavers. There we go. Pause you as well. And this road comes out. And let's grab another bridge over here. No, we do need the three. Okay. Yep, that should be fine. I mean, we don't really have to hop off over here we can definitely do it in the middle and then uh, same on this side there we go so that uh, section is done they can construct it whenever there is nothing else to do yep let's do it this way so the drought has started 20 days oh wow okay so yep this will dry up completely i mean i guess in the future we might even race this area a little bit further but for now yep these are the bumps we are most likely going to use what's happening here do we have this weird case where the water keeps spinning around i think we do is it gonna stop now i'm not sure bump it could definitely put a few oh yeah that is interesting we could get some power from here as well even during the drought well not for long but certainly for uh for a few days we can so this area looks a lot more clean now so let me just plop down the buildings and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I think we have a bit of a plan. So let's have a quick look then. It might not be the easiest to see all this, but we have a mixture of platforms and also small industrial piles. So every single one of them that you see here is set to accept scrap metal. Right, so and on the ground level, if I hide this all as well, we do have the, the roads. So this will connect directly with the underground ruins over here. And this one just allows to go through to the back area as well. Now, the reason why we are raising this area up a little bit is I don't want to block ourselves in completely. All right, so we'll spin you around as well. I don't think we're going to build them all. But yeah, just to make sure that we do still have the access that we need to different parts. And we also do have a bit of a ladder here as well, but we might also connect them up from this way instead we'll, we'll see how it goes yeah so there's gonna be enough space for three smelters and then we will just see how we want to expand this in the future there's definitely more space for for a few more but i do like the idea of of trying to yeah kind of like raise it up a little bit for for uh for access okay now we are just gonna have to let them construct it up um <laughs> if we do look at their accessibility Yep, everything is within the reach, which is good. They should also be able to connect all the power wires because the smelters are paused. And, <laughs> I mean, someone probably can get stuck in here. Knowing the beavers, yeah. So we'll just keep an eye on and maybe pause the, these two in here first. Uh, what I might do is let's... Uh, give these bits a slightly higher priority. Next thing we do want to do, uh, what did we talk about before? This bridge over here hopefully gets done soon. Okay, there we go. We'll give you uh, just a little bit higher priority. And the stairs themselves, well, you are almost done as well. Just need someone to walk over and construct them. Okay, our beaver population, hmm, 56, 8 waiting, and what is it six seven beaver boards running so that should be fine i think with the farms and a lot of these locations in here i do want to move the district center i don't think i want to have it on this corner here and hmm, what we might do is place it in the middle of this reservoir instead so that way we could reach all the way to the other side i mean i guess we could even do it if we had a more direct route through the middle but the way we have the road set up right now we yeah we can't reach all the way there which is okay in a way i guess i had a quick look here as well so everything was fine oh we were supposed to do a farm in here i think 
but the uh, the forester probably has to move and the same with the grill so I think our goal actually for a bit of a long long term goal is to move all the housing and the food storages up on this hill so that way they would have a equal distance to go to the production zones one towards the east of the mountain and one that's more like southwest uh, this corner over here because right now if they were working in the mines over there oh I forgot to select the goods for one hmm okay yeah so right now if they were working in the mines and they're living here that's pretty far distance that they have to run just to get some water food and then sleep okay let's have a look which one oh it's this one here fine okay there we go they are complaining that they are not connected just yet but uh, I do also have a plan to build kind of like a bridge system in here but I don't think we are gonna use the bridges instead what I'd like to use is those side platforms instead but for them we are unfortunately going to need metal uh right okay so 17 days for the drought which means we either need the engine which we of course we can't really build because we don't have the metal so that really just leaves us with some manual power i think yeah uh, and then another thing we do have to build in here is also to bring the power all the way to this side and that's partly the reason why do want to use the side platforms instead okay so let's build a bit of a gym for the for the beavers as well oh no 53 and 15 jobs uh let me just go through the colony real quick and see what can we pause okay well unfortunately there wasn't a lot that we can pause for now yeah i guess we'll let it run and hopefully we get a few more I mean, another thing we can do, let's unpause another breeding pod as well. Yep, we definitely need the builders and then we are going to need some manual labor to operate the gym. I mean, water, yep, it's fine. We don't want to pause anything else in here right now. We have a pretty good amount of beavers and everything's kind of, well, sort of critical, I suppose. Uh, food is pretty full. I mean, I guess we could maybe take a couple of beavers out from the farms but we'll, we'll see i'm sure a couple of these guys will grow up very very quickly as well right so let's take a look we are gonna need a couple of power wheels uh with the tree farm i think we are fine the way it is all right so that's uh not gonna work out same over here let's start doing it this way instead okay and we shall pause the two of you yeah i guess this location is fine for the for the time being okay very simple connect it up i think you are actually gonna change aren't you yep because that's probably mm, no it doesn't matter actually this road we would like to keep for for access hmm let's see if we need to do a another wheel all right so that would go here what if we left a bit of a gap? No, that's also not good because access might be a little challenging. Uh, right, right, right. So let's plan you in. Could we perhaps bring the power over? Yeah, you don't require metal. No, we don't have these platforms. Oh, uh, we might be able to. No, let's keep it simple for now. So we need four to run one. And this is most likely going to be our first one that we shall open up okay there we go this one comes out and if we need a few more wheels i guess we are gonna have to you know figure figure something out okay let's uh make it cheap instead here we go that one goes there you need to step down as well twice actually and this way and that way and a corner piece okay so that should be should be fine right do we want to connect you up right now? No, not really. No good selected. I thought I selected all of them, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, if we want to bring those houses over, then <laughs> this spot here is pretty perfect for, for the slightly larger warehouses. Okay, large one here. Or maybe industrial piles instead. Is there anything or any reason why we would like to have the industrial piles up there 
blanks, I guess we... Hmm, no, not really. So we might do the largest warehouses here instead. And then we just figure out the access itself as well. Yeah, you're gonna... Oh, you might be able to face this way, actually. Yep, and then another one right behind you. I think we are gonna need a bit more space to work with over here. So, yeah, the flowers need to go. If we were facing this way, we would have the access that we need. How much resources did we just waste? 30 scrap metal, 20 gears and 50 blanks. <laughs> or we go through the trouble of building you here instead and then losing access to a few more buildings. Well, we were planning to move you anyways. Yep, so let's take a look. Oh, there's the water source here as well. I think we are going to try and keep everything on the same level in case we need to access some other things in the, in the future. All right, and the double ones, and we just need the single one there. That looks to be middle enough for me, I suppose. Okay, and yeah. So that means if we take a look at this now, there's quite a few tiles in here. You are going to be out of range, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty direct until it gets all the way here. So perhaps we might have to relocate you a little closer later. Or cut it down. Instead of having two here, perhaps we could do just one. Uh, but that's fine. Oh, same in here, maybe. Yep, definitely going to lose this one. These buildings here as well. And maybe even up to here. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. This doesn't matter too much, and water does matter. Yeah, if we don't have access to water, that's going to be a problem. Uh, right, so we also talked about creating a slightly more direct route, which is going to be costly. Because we don't have the metal quite yet. I mean, I guess we can wait for metal. All right, let me think about this for, for a second. All right, so for a quick temporary measure to make sure that we are not gonna lose the access for the water pumps uh okay yep it's uh it's not gonna look pretty but that is probably the cheapest way we can cross right now without using any metal yeah all it is is a couple of platforms and suspension bridge uh, three by one as i said it doesn't look pretty but yeah it's something we have to do i don't want them Beavers climbing down and then crossing and then cl having to climb up again. Let's make the route as short as possible. Okay, so here we go. Uh, some of these beavers are already running over to start constructing everything. Now, the other one that we don't have the access for right now is this section here. But I think that can be fixed very easily as well. All we need is a couple of ladders. I think we are facing the right way now. And one more. All right, there we go. Place a road and it is done. We could also create a slightly shorter route from, from here if we wanted to. And the way we could do it, just a couple of ladders over here, I suppose, or stairs. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I always keep mixing them up the wrong way around. If I'm talking about the stairs, I call it a ladder. And if I'm talking about ladders, I call them the stairs. Not sure, but as long as you understand me, it's fine. All right, there we go. I think they can build it from both sides, isn't it? You're doing these platforms. Oh, yeah, we can do the bottom ones from here as well. Well, almost some of them. All right, so we shall let them construct it up and then we shall be back very shortly. There we go. I think we are almost complete over here. Let's have a quick check as well. Yep, just waiting for blanks. Oh, I see. So things might have been a little bit slower because we did not have enough blanks, but we shall fix that right away. All right, let's open another one. Gears, well, I guess we're not using all of them right now. So there we go. This way, okay, it is 
pretty red right now so surprisingly okay, I guess it is quite a bit of a detour going all the way around if it was a bit more direct uh could help us a little bit but that that's fine we are gonna move well at least try and move it anyways and see what do we lose access to this yeah there's definitely gonna be quite a few things um <laughs> i mean as long as we still have our berry farm i guess we'll be fine and with the rest okay well let's skip the night we'll give it a quick test in the morning and then we'll see what we need to do right so the bridge is now done Let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> right, so they can they can only run up until here. But uh, as soon as we change that, let's have a look. They have to go down, then back. Oh, yeah. That is not very efficient here at all. Okay, perhaps a platform here. And then... <laughs> crossing. Yep, let's do platforms on here as well. And then with the roads, I guess we shall cross over this way all right and we'll see how that's gonna change anything for now let's um give it a quick test so we'll pause the game uh district center turn you around yeah so the middle section gives us a uh, quite a bit more access so that's fine let's have a look what's going on here all right so the forester is fine these ones are out of reach as expected oh wow Okay, yep, that's, um, that's not very good. We lose all the, I guess in long term it might be fine, but I don't want to lose access to all of our storages right now. Oh yeah, they are a little, little bit too far. But to be fair, if we move this forester, let's say somewhere around here, that could cover pretty much most of this forest and the rest of it yeah a bit unfortunate but once we do get enough water we could remove all of those levees in here as well and just fill up the the whole tank that would be fine but the rest hmm on a more positive note it seems we still have access to the berry farm so yeah at least something good now what we can do though all right so let's uh put you back where you were before okay here we go we'll resume the time as well and uh, we'll fix up the metal in a second but something we can do is we do have all of those stairs in here i believe this might be or has the potential to be a bit more direct route through here they could walk yeah through these platforms so if we were smart and clever enough let's have a no promises there though okay they could walk through there uh probably can't go straight over but what we can do is climb up here connect you up a few more platforms okay this might actually work and there we go let's grab the same road as well all right all the way through and now in here what we do want to do is change you to a ladder instead this might help us out you were probably thinking the same we don't technically yes we don't need those bridges here at all but you know it's gonna be cool crossing the canyon whilst carrying some buckets of water okay anyways we can leave them constructing that over there population is going up and wait how do we have unemployed but we have four vacancies oh probably these things in here right but to produce metal we do need you a little bit closer okay not to worry i think we might have a solution so if we build another uh, metal factory just like so and we give you let's give you a bit more direct route as well okay we'll grab the roads connect it and yeah this might work all right there we go we'll give you a slightly higher priority as well so please complete this section first and then uh, yeah you can carry on with whatever you were doing before that okay so we got the ladders now yes it is night time but let's uh, double check real quick all right so this looks much better power will be flowing through the buildings 
and just a few more resources until it is done and we can start producing uh, some metal already okay that's taking quite a bit of time and i know we also got sidetracked just uh, just a little bit but wait a second we don't need to produce any power right now uh, i guess we can disconnect now there might be some resources there that we do need right 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 we'll give you the lowest priority and what else do we need we need scrap metal which i think we ran out when we built the last metal factory but we got the beavers operational again so yeah definitely we'll get some more soon uh seven vacancies how is that possible okay maybe we lost a few oh yeah a couple of them did pass away but we still have let's have a look a little bit metal in here that should be enough i think yeah We'll uh, skip to the part when this is already built. Okay, I think I figured it out. The reason why we had so many vacant workplaces was these guys were still sitting in here, although there was nothing else to do. So it definitely helps out if the pumps are paused when when there is no, no water over there. Well, I guess same with you guys as well, but you are, yeah, there is... Oh, you are connected to the other one. I think we, we are going to have to set you up separately here as well. But not to worry, as soon as the uh, water level rises, they will, you know, flood and everything's going to be fine. Okay, let's take a look at the factory. Uh, what are we waiting? Just two more uh, scrap metal and we are almost done. Well, here we go. We finally have the smelter. And I guess this episode won't be complete until we produce our first bit of metal as well. All right, so building needs power. Yes, we are aware and... Let's see if we can get a get another one. No beavers came over because we had it on one times the speed. Uh, there we go. So someone should be producing now. As soon as you get a delivery of metal. Well, good timing. I think it's sleep time for the beavers. So we'll see how it functions tomorrow. Okay, here we go. So with the rainy season here, let's uh, open some of those gates as well to green up this space uh, a bit more okay there we go oh actually you've got nothing to do i probably should go through this whole area and make sure that we haven't forgotten any random lumberjack flags but i'll do it between episodes okay and there we go we got our first bit of metal yeah it's uh, not gonna be fast but i think in the next episode what we shall do is uh, we do want to move this district center out of the way we do want to connect up those wheels as well. That's spinning pretty fast, but oh, never mind. Not a lot of power, but every little helps. Okay, now over here, we didn't get this far, but I do still want to cross over and start building this up as well. I think with the access, we already saw that this way wasn't the most optimal, but now that we have this, like, a, mm, I guess slightly more direct route, uh, never mind. It's still too far. Well, this might change once we move you a little bit closer. Who knows? Not a lot, but it might just be enough range to go all the way up there. All right, a couple of platforms here as well. I just had to. Okay, I think that's... Uh, yeah, we've uh, definitely achieved the goal for this episode, which is to start producing a little bit of me metal. And in the next one, we shall optimize it even further, build this area up a little bit improve the power situation, hopefully move the district as well. And, uh, well, I mentioned the power already, but I do want to move into this area. Just a couple of levees and the power wheels should allow us to, you know, have this operation running for a little bit longer. And then uh, what we might also revisit is how much water we're pumping. Uh, might do a few more tanks around the place. And, well, that's already a lot of things. I don't think we can get everything done in one episode, but... We do want to start building up this area over here as well. Uh, food is pretty good right now. And I'm pretty sure those farmers don't have anything else to do. So we'll build some large warehouses. And try and stock them up with all sorts of food. But okay, so that's going to be enough for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode.